Now, usually on this day, we'd be preparing to distribute bags and gloves and t-shirts. We'd give out uh, waiver forms for volunteers. And tomorrow, we would host 30 plus year anniversary of River Suite. But things are different this year in 2020. And we're not able to actually execute that event as we had in the past. So we thought we'd take a little time and remind ourselves and remind you of what River Sweep is and has been in terms of its function and role in creating a new kind of park, a national heritage area dubbed the Ohio and Erie Canalway. When you're in the business of trying to create a new idea, in our case a national heritage area, it's important that you can put together programs that can engage the general public, programs that have a connection to the mission that you're trying to accomplish, and programs that are fun, because people want to have fun when they volunteer, and you want them to volunteer. I think that River Sweep as a program is a big hit on all of those points. It's a program that was designed in a way that looked at a vision for a trail system based on the towpath trail and had a cleanup effort that basically invited people in to become the trail blazers, if you will. Those people that would help to clean up areas within the river valley and outside of it where one day new parks and new trails could develop as part of this grand vision, this system for the Ohio and Erie Canalway. Now we're here at Hart Crane Park and the first year we did River Sweep, we were able to uh, extract 600 illegally dumped tires from underneath the RTA pillars just off to our, our left here. Uh, because River Sweep became a, an effort that picked up litter, but also in a huge way, especially in the beginning, picked up illegally dumped tires. You know, the first River Sweep actually grew out of an existing cleanup called the Lake Erie Cleanup Days. And ironically, I was invited as a representative of then, our group was known as the North Cuyahoga Valley Corridor, Inc. I dare you to remember that one. I was invited to like a meeting that, to explore whether or not that cleanup could expand somehow. That cleanup basically was a water-based cleanup. It included people with boats that would predominantly go down the Cuyahoga River and try to scoop up litter, try to scoop up branches from trees that were floating, etc. So it was very minimal in terms of participation and it was kind of weak in terms of uh, ultimate output. You couldn't get a lot out of there. So we went to this meeting. It had a number of organizations there, including ODNR and the Ohio EPA, including Lake Erie Marine Trade Association. Shooters hosted it. Shooters was uh, the best, biggest bar in the flats at the time. And basically we brainstormed, you know, as a group whether or not our various organizations would want to be involved with expanding this cleanup. And I saw some value in that because we, as I noted at other times, felt that, uh, you know, we had a grand plan for expansion of trails and parks, but we need to engage people in the idea and we need to engage them in a way that would be helpful to that idea. So I thought, yeah, you know, I think this cleanup thing could work. And I was able to, to convince a, a young lady who was there from the Solid Waste District. Her name was Joan Steidel. And I said to her, because they said, okay, after the end of the meeting, who wants to lead it? Who wants to take control and manage it? Because the people that invited us there didn't want to do that. So I turned to Joan and I said, hey, Joan, what do you think, me and you? And she said, sure. From that point, grew and grew and grew, expanded in territory, expanded in participation, expanded with help from businesses that became sponsors. And we're happy where we're at today. Again, it's unfortunate that due to this virus, we're not able to conduct River Sweep as we've done in the past, but River Sweep will continue into the future. And we have some other novel ideas in which you can still participate in helping us clean the valley, but in a different way. Maybe a river sweep reset, if you will. 
You know, we changed our name a couple years back to Canalway Partners. We did so to recognize the fact that everything we do relies on other agencies, individuals, companies, etc. to accomplish. We need partners to be successful and we therefore we think that the term terminology Canalway Partners best fits our business mode of operations here. And when it comes to River Sweep, it's glaring the amount of partnerships and participation that we rely on. Uh, from the business community, not only people and equipment, but also some funding. You know, you had people that have stepped up into the breach lately. That includes Cargill, that includes the Port Authority, Arsler Middle, Great Lakes Brewing, the Solid Waste Districts. We also are thankful for the participation of high school kids. We figured that out about, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago that, hey, we have a, an untapped, if you will, resource here, and maybe if we engage them better, we'd be able to bring that, that raw energy into this cleanup effort, and we were able to do so. And, you know, we have a number of high schools from Parma area, et cetera, none bigger, none more participatory than Brexville Broadview Heights. The other thing we rely on is the network of local development corporations and nonprofits that are helping to steward the future of this landscape. And in that regard, we're talking about Clark Metro West, we're talking about uh, Ohio, not Ohio City, Ohio City Bike Co-op. Uh, we're talking uh, about Tremont West Development Corporation, Slavic Village. These are all groups that, and their everyday mission is to help improve the areas they represent, and they really have come out over time and represented the cleanup effort of River Sweep in a big, big way. And then there's just individuals, small companies, small businesses, people who know people, getting together and deciding that, hey, on a Saturday morning, this is what I ought to be doing. I ought to be helping to clean up that environment in that river valley. So, for all those people that have helped now, in the past and those of you in the future, we thank you.